Alright, today we are doing another one that is easily taken down with a Mega Buster. That's gonna be Nightman, whose weakness is the sun. I don't get these Robot Master screens they have in Mega Man 6. I don't care that we're going to the capital of science, which is located in a castle. And I don't really care about the Robot Master's height and defense. Like, I could not care less about these things. This is a, this is a really goofy and kind of stupid game, which I don't mean to equate with a... Uh, which I don't mean to equate with the game being bad. This game somehow pulls off the... Hey, more Dust Crusher crap. Okay. This game somehow pulls off the feat of being really kind of silly and stupid without being just uh, outright terrible, which is kind of amazing when you think about it. Although I, uh, I am enjoying it so far. I don't mean to say that I'm not shit. What am I doing? I'm a dummy. Okay, that was almost really stupid. In fact, it was kind of stupid to start. But yeah, I love the backgrounds in this game so far. They are especially notable. I like the fact that the game has uh, multiple paths that I can take. Uh, one of which is going to be in this level, although I can't take it yet because I don't have the proper adaptation, or adapter, rather, for my... They sound similar, but they're different. <laughs> I see they brought back the uh, twisty conveyor belt valves from 5. Somebody must have really enjoyed that. And yeah, this is kind of a... Yeah, this is a really goofy game. It's also... The backgrounds are great, but the stages themselves, especially this one, very garish and ugly in that early 90s oil ocean kind of way. I was gonna say, are we gonna see any enemies on this screen or what? This is a, this is pretty simple so far. Get up, get up, get up, stand up. Oh crap! How are you supposed to avoid that guy or that one or that one or goodness? Well, I guess a bunch of walking back and forth like that is how you do it. But yeah, so we're gonna be returning to this stage eventually. Yeah, touch the guy, Mega Man. That's the smart thing to do. Make direct physical contact with him. Why don't you? Hey, all right, our first one up of the game, hopefully the first of many, although I have a feeling this game is going to scale back on the one-uppage from five a bit, although honestly, how could it not, because five gave them away like Halloween candy. Whoa, hello, 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 and good night. Yeah, see, like, the background is amazing, like, those clouds are very lovingly rendered, and I can jet up to this guy. Wow, talk about your useless transition screens. There we go. And we'll be coming back to this stage, so I can probably double up on that. That'll surely be there when I return. At least it will if the game is uh, nice. See, look at this wall. This is ugly. Like this hot pink and this fuchsia. I guess what they study here is how to make the ugliest level possible. And this game is really obsessed with springs, too. Like, I guess because there's not a rush coil in it. I'm also intrigued by the fact that you start with, like, basically, like, freaking nothing at all. You don't even get, like, a complimentarily, complimentarily rush object or anything. It's really basic and, like, it's almost like Mega Man 2 or something. Like, how did we ever survive? Good God. And there's our uh, alternate path down there, I think. If I had the rocket punch, I could punch that block out and go fight the real Nightman, which, as I understand it, there are some levels that have two versions of the boss. And if you find the quote-unquote real one, you can go and get one of the uh, letters for B, which there are only four in this game, as opposed to having to find eight in five. And B does the same thing here that he does. So I'm starting to draw the bridge in my mind also between, yeah, I can't bust through his shield, but he's just kind of standing there and being easy so far. Ha 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 ha! You're terrible. So this is a uh, pretty simple. This is the uh, this is the uh, kind of uh, start here. If uh, okay, you can uh, throw your mace ball anytime soon. I think he I think he wised up. He got a little bit smart. Okay, that was a horrible shot, man. Okay, and yeah, that shield is the main annoying thing. If we had the uh, Yamato spear, I barely slid under that. If we had the Yamato Spear, we could bust right through the shield and just kill him in like two seconds. Trying to bait him into throwing his guy at me. There we go. He is the master of the mace ball, so they say, although I'm disinclined to believe it. Oh shit, he's got me right in a corner. <laughs> this is still like the easiest thing ever. Oh shoot. Ah oh, crap. <laughs> 
And he only hit me the one time. Goodness. What an easy guy. So now we have a couple places we can go, because I could go do a couple Robot Masters now that I got two weapons, but I didn't get the real Nightman. So I'm going to have to come back for him. But yeah, this game is very garish about color. Although the 90s didn't really find their identity with, you know, finding their own unique look. Until probably, I'd say, yeah, 93 or so. So this game was right on the cusp of the, you know, the actual aesthetic of the 90s. But it's still got a bunch of really garish, like, 80s colors. It actually looks more 80s than something like, say, Mega Man 2. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know how that works. But next time we're going to do uh, Centaur Man. And we'll be able to do the actual Centaur Man because we have the jet. So, yeah, I've already played through this level once. It was... It's cool and all. But we'll get to it next time, so... Okay, I think... Why is there not a Mega Man face here, but there is here? Is that some kind of indicator of completion or something? Or why is there no face... Or does it only pop up at... Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. Why is there no face here, but a face here? Somebody tell me. I'm confused and upset. 